today's set was done very quickly because I I done it yesterday, but it was done in a bit of a rush. Anyway, editing the video back now, I think I prefer them shiny, but I forgot to photograph them shiny. So the photograph is the matte set, but let me know down below afterwards. Do you prefer them shiny or matte? Let me know. Right, so I saw, oh, hang on. These are the colors that I've chosen. Walk in the park, love energy, and seek and see now on instagram i was looking for some inspiration and actually i came across uh, an image of some home decor and it had these colors together and i was like oh i really like those colors together i'm going to do a set of nails with those colors so these are the colors that i chose that were inspired by this home decor picture i wish i'd screenshot the picture but it was quite nice it had like it had like the pink and beige and then it had like the, the it was like decorated with some random like dusky kind of green things anyway i really liked it but there we go this set of nails i'm going to use the all three colors on three of the nails so this one i've gone in with the green and then the pink at the bottom and i'm just blending them together with my madame glam ombre brush I had to think what it was called and i dropped it then by accident it looked like i I tapped it on the paper but I didn't my fingers done something stupid and I dropped it <laughs> I'm such a goo doofus doofus it's goon I was, I'm such a goon I didn't know what I was gonna say then and it just came out weird and um, this one I am doing the pink and the beige and I know I've put it on I've put it on in like a bit of an angle but when I what's the word <sighs> oh okay, all Oh, I feel pretty tired today, but I slept really well last night. Thank goodness. I really needed it, you know. Um, yeah, so what I was going to say was I put them on in like a curve, but when, once I've finished doing using my ombre brush, it, it just turns them into a line anyway and not a curve. This one, I am using the beige and the green, but I didn't want to, I didn't know what direction to do the blend in. So I thought, oh, well, I'll just do a vertical blend instead of like a horizontal blend because everyone always does like the main sort of ombre now is always done horizontally so i thought we'd go vertically because why not there we go and then once i'm happy i'll pop those in the lamp cure them for 30 seconds and then i'm gonna give them two coats okay so you want to do that twice okay so what am i doing here i can't actually see all right yeah so i thought we'd do five nails let's push the boat out we're gonna do a thumb as well one nail i thought i'd do the plain beige and then the other nail i thought i'd do the plain pink so again these will need two coats each coat cured for 30 seconds in the led lamp i'm using a madam glam elio lamp for anyone who's interested i am going to use the urban graffiti blooming gel because i don't have any of the madam glam one however if you do want to purchase from madam glam you can because they do do one and you can save 30 percent using my code natmug30 perfect and we're just gonna go over the, the nails with the two colors on we're gonna go over with blooming gel and you don't want to cure this what we're going to do is on this one i'm taking the beige and i'm going to add some dots down the bottom and some dots down the top and then what that's going to that's going to kind of bloom not kind of it is definitely going to bloom and then you can pop that in the lamp and i don't know i just thought it looked kind of cool so yeah 30 seconds in the lamp this one again we're going to go over with our blooming gel layer and then add on our dots but this time i'm using the green because that's our third color I thought that was, I don't know, I just thought it was really cool. It looks really cool. And then this one, I've put Blooming Gel on and the dots I'm going to put down the sides because this one wasn't a diagonal ombre. This one I think is really cool. I really like the cut this colour combo. I feel like I've seen it somewhere before other than that inspiration picture. It just, I don't know, it just reminds me of something. I don't know what. I don't know, yeah. Right, so this is them done now, okay? Then... I'm going to add on top of them. These are decals from Nail Sugar I've not used before. I like to, yeah, I've been trying to go through the decals that I've not used before and to put them on some nails. So I'll put it upside down on my stamper, dampen the back, and then eventually the backing just slides off and then you can stamp it onto your nails. Now, I came across an issue. The blooming gel left a very wet 
kind of tacky layer. It was cured, but the tacky was wet. So the decals, they didn't want to, they didn't want to sit nicely and they kept getting like little wrinkles in. Um, and I, I'm assuming, I don't know, I'm assuming it was because the tacky layer was too wet and they, they like didn't kind of want to, I don't know, I can't explain it. But I'm wondering if it was a more tacky, tacky layer than a than less of a wet one. They might have sat better on the nail. Maybe it's because these tips are more curved as well. I'm not sure, but that's this is the first time I've had this issue, like this issue with these. Yeah. Anyway, um, I think it was a combination of the curved nail and a combination of the wet, sticky layer of the. Anyway, I'm going to top coat them now with. What is this? The No Wipe Top Coat from Madame Glam. So we're gonna seal those in. I am not going to top coat the beige one. See, that's them shiny. Um, I, I, can you see the little, uh, you can't see it now, but there's little bits on the decals where they didn't sit flush on the, yeah. Oh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Right, this is the Sweet Treats mix from Crystal Parade. It's a Preciosa crystal mix. And it does have a little single red heart in it. I'm not going to use the heart, but I felt like the colours of the other crystals went really nicely with this set. So I'm just going to... I'm going to do a little V shape with the crystals. So I've put my crystal fix in a V shape at the top. And you don't cure it, you place your crystals into that uncured crystal fix. The crystal fix is from Crystal Parade, as are the crystals, and you can save 10% using my code NATMUG10. I also have a 10% code for nail sugar if you want to buy some decals. That too is NATMUG10. I don't think I told you just a minute ago. I'm gonna add some caviar beads now, but I did go, it did go blurry, so I yeah, we've just skipped forward. And then I'm gonna do like some a, a drape of caviar beads. So I've, I've added my crystal fix and then into that uncured crystal fix, I'm just adding my caviar beads and we're just going to put all of these along the line of the crystal fix and then the crystal fix needs 60 seconds in an LED lamp and then I'm going to shiny top coat them. This took me ages. So when you're doing them, when you're top coating the nails with crystals, don't go over the crystals because they will lose their sparkle. But this is them shiny. I quite like them. But can you see where the decals didn't sit flush to the nail? And I thought if I matte top coated them, it might make it look less prominent. But you can still see it. <laughs> but anyway, that was my fault. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. It's completely free. And you can always change your mind later. Websites and discount codes will be below. God bless. Love you all. And I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.